Hello, this is TJ Fassler. I'm uh, very excited to be making this uh, documentary uh, exploring the ancient land of the Mesoamerican people. Very excited, uh, especially I'm going to be looking at the Olmecs. So uh, I have uh, officially landed. I have my boarding pass here. And uh, I'm uh, on my way to uh, Close City. It was actually really cl hard to get to Tabasco, Mexico. The closest airport just happened to be... Uh, welcome to Via Hermosa. Uh, that's right. It, it was Via Hermosa. Uh, uh, hi, welcome. Uh, How you doing? Uh, I'm doing I'm doing very well. Uh, Can I see your uh, passport, please? Oh, uh, uh, well, here's my, my boarding pass. Okay. And uh, I, I uh, have all my ID and, and stuff right here. Um, is uh, everything seem to be in order? Yeah, I uh, may take your bags. Oh, 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 I don't have any uh, bags. Oh, very good, very uh, good. Oh, yeah, thank very you, good. thank you. That's that's excellent. <clears throat> um, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The international uh, signal. Okay. Um, there you go, sir. <clears throat> um, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Um, Really? Really now? <coughs> uh, maybe you need to see a doctor. <coughs> oh, man. Okay. But nothing else. Nothing else. Thank you. Hi, this is TJ. I already have to postpone my trip a little bit. Um, it's starting to rain. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, so I thought I'd hit the trail fresh and early in the morning. But uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about the Olmec. Olmec actually means rubber people. Uh, it comes from some of the resources from the trees they had. They were also very, very good farmers. They would use maize, beans, squash. And I'm curious to see if uh, the diets of some of the people who still live in this area uh, reflect that of the Olmec. They're actually one of the first Mesoamerican peoples. Um, and they, the things that they started were continued by the Mayas and the Aztecs. Uh, they also have some interesting uh, religious practices and beliefs. And they believed in a jaguar god and a snake god. Um, and uh, lastly, just some of the resources they used were jade and obsidian, which are igneous rocks, because they actually would collect them from uh, the volcanic valley in the Matagua Valley of Guatemala. So I'd like to see some of those things for myself, but uh, unfortunately I'm just going to head to bed, and hopefully in the morning it'll clear up and uh, I can start uh, taking off. Bye. Oh, this is fantastic. I think I've stumbled upon some, some ancestors of the ancient people playing uh, what seems like uh, some type of traditional game. Uh, let me ask them about it. Hey, hey you guys, could I ask you a few questions? Yeah, sure. Hey, what is this that you're playing? So this is called the ball game, and it's where you have to hit the ball in this hoop, but you can't use your hands. You can use your head, your legs, your hip, anything. That's cool. Uh, and do you guys just play for fun? Um, well, the losing team dies. Just kidding. Oh. That was back when the Olmec people used to play it. But now we just play for fun. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hello, it's uh, me again. It's about lunchtime, so I was hoping I could find some people eating some traditional Olmec meals, and I, I may have found that. Um, hello, uh, I was wondering if I could just ask you a few questions about uh, your food actually here. Sure. Um, is this kind of indicative of what the traditional Olmec meal might have been like? Yeah. Oh, excellent. So, um, I see they have corn and, and, and meat, and uh, did they also, is it true they used to eat squash and fruits and vegetables? Yeah. Now, the thing that surprised me though, uh, I didn't know they ate hot dog. Oh, it's actually turtle. Turtle? Yeah. But, oh, yeah. that's gross. <laughs> yeah, it's actually better than what they used to eat though. what they used to eat? Actual dog. Oh, this is quite the find. Um, I've already stumbled upon some of the uh, ancient giant Olmec heads. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I'm actually standing pretty far away. This is actually probably uh, as tall as I am, uh, which isn't saying much. Um, maybe even taller. Uh, so there's, oh, what is this? Oh, I had heard about this. Uh, apparently vandalism is a, is a very big problem down here in uh, Mesoamerica. People stealing uh, ancient artifacts or uh, graffitiing them. Bob, you'll get yours. You'll get yours, Bob. I'm having quite the luck today. Uh, not only did we uh, stumble upon those giant Olmec heads, but I also happened to find a stele. Uh, that's like a totem pole with some of the hieroglyphs that the Olmec, uh, Maya, and the Aztecs used. Obviously not the Incas. They didn't have a written language. They had their oral language, the Cachea. But you have to see this. Um, uh, first, this, uh, this first side, written in hieroglyphs, gives kind of some insight into their social structure. It was really just the ruler, uh, his... Uh, 
priest uh, below him, and uh, then everybody else. Uh, very simple, simple structure. Uh, the other side of the stele also happens to show some of the religious beliefs. As you can see, there's uh, a crude um, uh, drawing of uh, what they believed was a giant serpent, but they also believed, since they were coastal people, in a, a shark monster and kind of the uh, plight of man in between. Uh, now this one, this one really threw me off. Um, apparently, maize was important to these people. I didn't know it was that important. The god of maize. And they even spent the time to put it in color. So, uh, again, this is a stele, which is a um, kind of a totem pole comprised of different hieroglyphs of the people. Uh, one of the things I was hoping to show uh, was possibly one of the Olmec villages. Uh, you see, they actually didn't live in the religious centers where those heads would be or the steles. Their villages were kind of separate, um, made out of uh, sticks or even adobe, which is like a mud brick. So I thought I would kind of follow this path up to um, a still active volcano uh, up there and uh, hopefully come across one of those villages, but uh, it does not look like it's going to be the case. So I'm hoping to reach the ridge, uh, maybe get a, a better side of the land. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought I would go ahead and try one of these Mexican squash. Um, I was told that you shouldn't eat it raw, but hey, I'm hungry. So let's try it. Oh, that was terrible. That was a terrible idea. A final day of shooting. It's been a wonderful uh, visit. I got to see the stele, the hieroglyphs. I got to see um, some of the food they ate, including turtle. Um, but one of the things I was hoping to do is uh, visit one of these volcanoes. Um, actually, a volcano uh, is one of the possible ways that the Olmec and some of the other people were wiped out. Um, I'm actually starting to regret this now. This probably wasn't a... Wait, what is that? What's that sound? What's going on? Oh, 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 oh no! The volcano is erupting! I have to escape! No! No! Ah! Ah! It's burning my body! Oh, this was terrible! Oh, I hope they find this footage and use it for educational purposes later! Ah!